I apologize in advance for the audio that will be fixed this weekend. But we have bigger problems to talk about. We're about to get a black Superman. From the bottom of my heart, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. For watching this guy's channel. No, Jody's like channel. Jody's Corner. No. My <laughs> favorite. Thank you so much. <laughs> YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. That's right. We're about to get a black Superman written by a black man. You know, it's about to be real black up in this motherfucker. Yeah, it's it's official. The Hollywood Reporter is reporting that yes, we are going to be getting a black Superman. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you guys to understand. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for that real content. I'm probably going to say some things that you probably don't like or some things that you do like, but understand that I'm keeping it real always. That's how we do it. Tennessee Coates is the writer of Black Panther. That's what gave him no notoriety, and that's why he got this deal here. That's why we got the 2018 Black Panther film. So here we are with the Hollywood Report. Let's get to it. Tennessee Coates will write the Superman movie, and it's going to be about a black Superman. J.J. Abrams is producing the feature. Uh, according to sources, is being set up as a black Superman story. So acclaimed novelist Tennessee Coates is going to be doing Superman with J.J. Abrams producing. Tennessee Coates says uh, to be invited into the DC Extended Universe by Warner Brothers and DC Films and Bad Robot is an honor. He went on to say, I look forward to meaningfully adding to the legacy of America's most iconic mythic hero. Hey, he's putting respect on a man's name and I can appreciate that. I like Tennessee Coates. Don't get it twisted. I like what he did with Black Panther. It was very powerful and moving and even Marvel loved it and, and apparently Warner Brothers as well. So let's get into it some more. Uh, this is from J.J. Abrams. He says, there is a new powerful and moving Superman story yet to be told. We couldn't be more thrilled to be working with the brilliant Mr. Coates to help bring that story to the big screen. And we're beyond thankful to the team at Warner Brothers for the opportunity. That's what J.J. Abrams has said. And according to sources, the project is being set up as a black Superman story. This is something that the studio has been trying to wrap in his head around for months, if not a year or two. Michael B. Jordan tried to develop a black Superman story a while ago, back in 2019, when he got his deal with them. But that did not go very far at the time. According to sources, it is possible now that they might be willing to go back to the negotiating table to talk back with Michael B. Jordan. Like, hey, Michael B., what's up, bro? You remember how we talked about that movie two years ago? Well, guess what? And pretty, I'm pretty sure Michael B. Jordan will be cast to be Black Panther. I mean, not Black Panther. He will be Black Panther, in my opinion, too. But he will be cast to be Superman. Um, I believe the character's Val Zod. So let me give you guys a glimpse of what Val Zod looks like. Here he is. Um, that's Val Zod. That's his suit. You know what I'm saying? It's an Earth 2 Superman story where he has a different origin and stuff like that. This is not the prime Superman that we know and love. And that's my issue with this. I don't want, I don't have interest in, and I do not care for a black Superman story. So long as the real traditional Superman hasn't been given justice yet. We are in a state where Superman has been pissed on, like almost literally pissed on by what Zack Snyder did with his DC universe. The Snyderverse killed him. Doomsday story made him dark and emo. Like he's in a real bad spot. And, it, and, and with this news, it looks like Henry Cavill's time is up with Warner Brothers. It very much looks that way. And I believe it has to do with the fact that just like I had an issue with it. When I saw Henry Cavill in that Snyder video with Snyder, his allegiance there saying, release the cut, and he announced that Snyder cut, instantly to me, I was like, bruh, this is some bullshit. You went back on your word. You were vocal for years about how you, you were vocal for months about how you did not like Snyder's Superman story. You wanted to tell different stories. And then months, years later, you show up, talk about, yeah, announce the cut. And you look like a fool in that video, bro. And that is what had me like, bro, I'm done with you, bro. And now Warner Brothers saw that you had allegiance to Zach. They're like, I'm done with you too. We're moving on and we're going to make him black. Think about the disdain that Warner Brothers, they don't have, they don't have no love for Superman. That's what this feels like to me, Warner Brothers. I feel like you guys, this hero has been around for 80 plus, almost 90 years. 
And y'all aren't giving him the love and the credit that he deserves. The fact that we're even here talking about a black Superman, it blows me away. And then it goes, you know, he's very, I like Tanisi. This is not a knock on black people or my man Tanisi Coates. You know, he got all these work done. You know, he did Power Maker Tragedy, The Beautiful Struggle, The Water Dancer, all this woke black power stuff, which is cool and I like it. It's for the movement. And even this right here, Bob Iger, look at this news. The reason why Black Panther was made with Chadwick Boseman in 2018 was because of Tennessee Coates comic book run right here. Disney's Bob Iger crediting his influential run on the latter in the decision to green light the film Black Panther. So if it wasn't for Tennessee Coates writing, we wouldn't have even gotten the film. So I'm forever thankful to you for that, bro. And I think you're going to make a develop a great black Superman story. This is not about your film. This is about the fact that Warner Brothers is even making a black story when the traditional Superman hasn't even been done right yet. That's that's my issue here. You don't do the bench before the starters. Starters get out. They get their playtime first. They eat. Then the bench warmers come on. That's exactly what Valzad is. No disrespect. I'm just keeping it a buck. The disrespect being put on Superman out here, kal from Smallville is real. Now, there's a couple of beaming lights at the end of the tunnel that I'm going to, don't over, don't panic. We're going to talk about it. There's some stuff that might be happening here that could, you know, relax, ease tensions a little bit. And we're going live tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific, right here on Jody's Corner. Me and the Just Us League, me and the honeys. Are we going to talk about this news? We're leading with this news. This is real out here, bro. This is real. And we're going to discuss it 5 p.m. Pacific tonight. I'll see you there. And also, let me give a PSA public service announcement. <clears throat> All you woke, black power, black is everything, black over life, black, black, black. This is a great Superman because he's black, black. Nigga. Bounce up off my channel with that bullshit, nigga. This is about Superman, bro. You take that brother, my brother, you a coon, Uncle Tom, for saying Superman can't be black. Nigga, miss me. Be up off my channel. Take that shit to them pro-black channels that you guys frequent all day. Go back to your black bubble where nothing exists but black people. Miss me with that shit. Right here on Jody's Corner, we talk about that pop culture. This ain't about black. It's about getting the character done right. And just so happens that getting the character done right means he ain't black. I want goddamn kal from Krypton, son of jor from Kansas, from Smallville, Jonathan, Martha, Kent. That's what I need. That's not what we're getting. What are we getting? We're getting Val Zod. The Superman nobody knows. And by nobody, I'm talking about 90% of the world. Here he is. I mean, <laughs> this could be tight. Don't make it look like I'm knocking this shit. But just off the fact that he ain't this. You feel me? He ain't this. He ain't that. He sure ain't this. This. The red, blue, yellow. This is Superman. You know what I mean? This is Superman. He has a look, and I need to explain this to you. He has 90 years of history. Superman is a white man with dark hair who's six foot three, six foot four, 225, 230 pounds of pure beefcake from Kansas, baby. That's Superman. Curl on the forehead. That is Superman. Created by two Jewish immigrants. So he has the likeness of a Jewish character. That's who he is, bro. And that's who I fell in love with. That's who millions of people across this earth fell in love with. Why would you do a film that is showing love to a very under underdeserved community, my community, the black community? I get that. But you're showing love to a one percentile of people who know about a black Superman and even would want a black Superman over a white traditional Superman. And you're alienating 99 percent of the other audience who are Superman fans who want a traditional Superman story. That's what blows me away, Warner Brothers. And here it is. Here I'm black man telling you this. I'm not a I'm grateful as a black man that you're trying to do black stories, but I feel like this is very Disney esque. 
It's like you guys are being very Disney woke PCSJW shit here. Warner Brothers, you guys have been known as the traditional studio that allows people to do their creative visions and stuff like that. While still pushing forward the boundaries, you've been very traditional. This is a clout SJW appearance move. This seems very Disney to me. This isn't Warner Brothers-ish to me. And I don't like it. I don't like it because it's a black Superman. I don't like it because the real traditional Superman hasn't. Prime canon Earth 1 Superman hasn't even been done right yet. Now, if you guys have something down the pike for a Prime Superman, we're going to talk about that. Because that's the light at the end of the tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. What if this Val Zod is... He is an Earth 2 character in the comic books. He is not the Superman, obviously. What if they're developing a Superman story that is just like Matt Reeves' Batman outside in another universe? Just like the Snyderverse in another universe. This is another reality of Superman. And yet they're still developing or will still develop a traditional Superman movie for the main canon DC universe, Prime Earth universe storyline the one that has gal gadot's wonder woman the one that will have aquaman and one have black black adam and shazam i don't see him with that team if they announce this as an alternate universe a different reality and there's a hint to it as well that they're doing this is from him his mouth him uh jj abrams he said it here here it is right here there is a new powerful and moving superman story yet to be told so this tells me they're telling a new story that has never been told this confirms he's not clark kent from smallville they're not just race swapping clark kent they're not race swapping kal-el they're gonna do this valzad story here and this is gonna be that superman so he's not gonna be from uh is he from uh, he's not gonna have the same krypton story he's not gonna have the the uh, earth parents martha jonathan he's not gonna be that it's gonna be different warner brothers ain't stupid they know that you cannot have a Superman that different in the Justice League. You can't have this type of character leading the whole future of DC when it comes to leading the league. They very much well know that they need to make a traditional Superman story. And I still believe that they will. Only time will tell. We will find out more as time goes on. But the news that I'm waiting for and the news you guys should be waiting for too. If you join me in the stance that traditional Superman needs love, Kal-El needs love, then you should ride with me and pay attention to the news over these next two years to see exactly when they announce that this Val Zod story is a Val Zod story and it is another universe. Will Val Zod be in the main universe? That's the number one golden question. Will Val Zod be in the main prime universe or is it an Elseworld story like Matt Reeves' Batman, like the Snyderverse? If so, if this is an Elseworld story, Prime 2, something like Earth 2, for sure, bring this shit, baby. It's still off that you're doing a black Superman before you're doing traditional, but I'll forgive it as long as I know that my traditional Superman is coming. You feel me? So maybe this is just a little, so I'm saying, let's calm, let's calm down, let's appreciate what they're trying to do here, let's be a little bit more patient and I'm going to release an exclusive later on, guys. I'm going to release an exclusive. I knew about this news for some months that they were trying to do a black uh, a black Superman story. And I can confirm here, right here on Jody's Corner, that Patty Jenkins went to Warner Brothers, had a meeting with them, and she asked Warner Brothers to direct Superman. She asked for it. And Warner Brothers said no because they wanted to do a black Superman story. And that little bit of information is what makes me worried because why would you tell Patty, no, we want to do a black story if you didn't intend for there to be another Superman coming out to be traditional? You should have been able to say, oh, yeah, sure, Patty, you could direct it because we got a black one coming out, too. That's what makes me think that this could be the Superman of the future. And that is a problem. 
Put down in the comment section what you guys think. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys at 5 p.m. Pacific where we talk about it. Uh, me and my black brothers, you know, some of which who which I hire and pay. Uh, we out here. I'm out here uh, uh, employing brothers. So miss me with that Uncle Tom bullshit you talking about. I understand. That shit crazy. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out. Deuces. Deuces.